tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning. It must be a big deal to... I know it's a big deal for me to have you in the studio tonight, so it's got to be a huge <laughs> deal to some of these high school kids to have you out there with them. Well, you know what? I, I have a couple of training facilities in Buffalo that I've opened up, uh, Thurman Thomas Sports Training, and I deal with kids on a weekly basis. And, uh, you know, and, and it's not the... Um, you know, I grew up in Texas where, you know, football is, like, huge. I mean, yeah. It's like pro teams or whatever. You see some of these locker rooms and stuff like that. It's like, like the that. Friday Night Lights. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and you know what, uh, you know, just to give these kids an opportunity. I mean, because, you know, I was once a kid uh, coming through high school, and, you know, I, I never got a chance to see my idol Earl Campbell come to a high school football Earl, game. Earl, Earl Campbell. The, Earl Campbell. Yeah. And, you know what, for me to give back to the community, because, you know what, some of these kids go through their lifetime and, and, and never get to see a football player. Well, I'm, not, I'm, game, not, really. I'm not trying to, you know, pat myself on the back, yeah. but I think it's a big deal for the kids, you know, because when they get older and they might say to their kids, well, you know, I've met him before or whatever. I think that's cool. And uh, I just really just like to give back to the community and just really just help out any way I possibly can. Has the generation changed a little bit? I mean... Back in the day, it used to be that kind of attitude, and that, that was sort of the, the top notch. That was the, the bar you were trying to reach for. Then you got guys nowadays that have, you know, $30, $40 million contracts. Do they really, has there been a bit of a shift in, in how they feel in helping out their community? Well, you know what? I, I think when you might get 30 or $40 million put in your bank account, yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be some type gonna of change. <laughs> There's gonna be some type of change. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna sit up here and lie about it. There, there is gonna be some type of change, but uh, I, I think you know you can really separate a lot of those players. Uh, you, you, I mean, you can always find good football players that are gonna be uh, give back to the community all the time. I, I just think that the the way things are going right now, that there's not a lot of that being talked about. Yeah, you know everything is bad right now. You know players. Taking guns to nightclubs and stuff like that. What you was know, that? I don't, what was yeah, that I mean, yeah, I, I mean, so I mean, it's, it's it's you know, and people they tend to follow that stuff. Yeah, you know, instead of the good things that are guys that are because there's a lot of great guys out there that are doing a lot of great things to help kids, to help a lot of individuals, sure. a lot of charities, but it's just not getting talked about uh, as much as I think. Got to focus be. more on the positive. Yeah, you got to focus more on the positive. Let's talk a little bit about a guy like Michael Vick, since we're talking about guys who right. you know have had a lot of a negative press in the last little while. Mm -hmm. Tony Dungy has gone a long way to help out his career. Sunday Night Football a few nights ago, I almost fell off the couch when he said Michael Vick might be going to the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> what were your thoughts about that? Well, I didn't hear the comment, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear the comment. But you know what? I I I think you know with a guy like Michael Vick, he's obviously. Uh, confess to what he did yeah. or whatever, and you know what? I, I think everybody should get should should be given a second chance. Uh, but I think it, it's different with Michael Vick because you know this is his last opportunity. I've always told people, you know, this guy he can't mess up from here on out because everybody's, everybody's following. Watching. Everybody is watching him, so you know he has to be headstrong from here on out for the rest of his life because everybody's watching him. And I think when you have that type of pressure on you, it makes you a better person. Because, you know, if you mess up one time, his life, his career is over with. And yeah. I think right now he's on, a, he's on, that, he's on that edge right, right now to where he's starting to realize how, how bad he messed up, but he's also starting to realize that I can help myself and I can help a lot of people. And I think Tony Dungy is probably a big part of that as well. Definitely a big part of it. One of the, one of the classiest acts you ever want to meet in the National Football League. Thurman Thomas is my guest. We're going to talk about what made Thurman Thomas famous those days in the, uh, in the early 90s in the Buffalo Bills. We're going to spend more time with him in just a second as the Ryan Dole Show continues.